<laughs> I'd forgotten to add my video cam, my webcam uh, to, to the streaming. Hi, everyone. How is everyone today? Oh, my God, it's been such a long time. It feels really weird um, to have been absent for a week without saying anything. So first off, I have to apologize. Uh, that mustn't happen. But basically, I got um, very excited about like a project that I'm, I've been thinking about for a while. And this week, I thought, that's it. I'm just going to dedicate time to like getting started and and something had to give sorry it's been <laughs> our lessons vincenzo how are you how is michela giuseppe gabriele let's play taboo yeah daniele daniela is saying uh, let's see hi internet thank you for your time hope everything's okay with you yes really good daniela it's just um i had to dedicate time to something that I've been thinking about for a while. And this week, I just thought, that's it. You just have to do it. Um, so uh, you wrote this yesterday. I hope I'll see you in a minute uh, and that you'll be live. Um, lovely to see you, Michaela. So how is everyone? Tell me about your life post 4th of May. Has anything changed? Have you done anything exciting? What have you been up to? Um, so basically, you remember perhaps that I said I would like to go and have a picnic with my girls and of course we haven't done it yet um is it even allowed are you allowed to like go and have a picnic in the park can someone tell me I haven't really read the decree to like see kind of like the ins and outs of what you can actually do uh, but could I go and have a picnic with my girls tomorrow do you think was it like against against the rules. Hi, Mirella. Hi, Gabriela, uh, who's joining us from, um, it's two Gabrielas on YouTube. So Gabriela Calig Caligari, and we have Bonfanti. Gabriele, uh, this is Gabriela. Sorry, I, I misread it. Apologies. Fabio, how are you doing? And uh, yeah, how is everyone? Do let me know before we get into Taboo. And we can't start playing Taboo until... Tiziano joins us. Where is Tiziano? <laughs> Where's your comment? He's telling me I can go and have a picnic. Good. So I shall do that. I'm going to like, I'm going to take a picture of your comment, <laughs> Gabriele, and then I will say to the, like, you know, the wardens, I guess, if they say I can't, I'll say, look, they told me on Facebook that I can. <laughs> okay, so... Michaela saying the most exciting thing it was to run in the park. Yes. Is it great? Like little kind of, um, I don't know, uh, moments of freedom, right? Suddenly everything is so much more special and exciting compared to before. So good for you. So did you go for a longer run, Michaela? Hi, Daniela. How are you doing? Uh, so what did everyone get up to since Monday? Have you done anything that you hadn't done in the past two months? I didn't. Uh, the only thing I've done more of this week is I've sat more on the balcony. <laughs> So I, I, you can tell like, I don't deserve the like newly gained freedom. I'm not making uh, the most of it. Hi, Roberta. So where is Tiziana? We want to get started on Taboo. Okay. And just going to get the deck out and see what's here. Haven't looked at any of these. And I haven't been sleeping very much. I don't know what's wrong with me. I go to My connection just dropped. Bear with me for just one second. I'll connect a data cable because I think the Wi-Fi is being a bit unstable. Bear with me just one second, okay? Here I am. Sorry, I should have thought about it before. I'm just going to plug in my um, ethernet because I think I'm getting a, I'll get a better connection. Yeah, exactly, Fabio. So I, I had forgotten 
sorry to like I'm you can tell I'm just out of practice usually I plug in my Ethernet uh, because then I get more stable internet connection and I'd forgotten to do that so now I've done it and hopefully that should solve the problem Mirella had a nice walk in the park so you had a walk in the park do you have a nice park near where you live uh, so it's good good to go for a walk yeah Fabio's saying sometimes I freeze hopefully now that shouldn't ha happen anymore but tell me let me know Fabio where is Tiziano has he abandoned us Tiziano Taboo won't be the same without you. Like he loves Taboo. Okay, may, perhaps he might he might share, he might join us um, in a little while. Okay, guys, let's get started. Are you ready to play Taboo? I can't see any more comments, so I'll just get started. Okay, so these are the cards. We'll mix them. <laughs> And we'll see what kind of words will come out. Okay, Mirella is ready. Good. R Mirella just gave the answer for the team. Right. Oh, let's see if you know this one. I'm not sure. I don't even know if there is this tradition in, in Italy. Okay. Mm, think about December and a very important holiday in December. Uh, there is like a... Gosh, is it a plant? Uh, it's uh, it's um, kind of, it's the color, like, you know, the color that you get when you go out in nature. And you're supposed to, like, stand underneath it and exchange affection with someone that you like. Have you ever heard of that? So it's like, um, it's like, not hugging, like more than hugging, it's when lips meet, okay? And it's underneath this um, kind of plant. And if like, you know, it's, it's like a tradition to exchange affection underneath it. I don't know if I'm explaining that okay. And it may not even be something that, um, that you know, I don't even know what, it, what it's called, what the plant is called in Italian. So did you hear what I said? And is it, clear or do you need me to explain a little bit more i just i'm just finding out what it is called in italian <laughs> okay i just found out i had never kind of had the curiosity to find out how you call that in uh, in italy in italian sorry okay so um what could it be oh good well done fabio have you kissed anyone under the mistletoe where is it here mistletoe it's too much light coming in you can't see the word. So I couldn't say hang, kiss, Christmas, or the focus, green. Oh, did I say under? I said under. Uh, the teacher gets a minus point. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have said under. Yeah. Gabriella, it's uh, Vischio. I just checked it. I didn't know. And it did say that. Yeah. It's the Christmas tree. It's part of Christmas. But the tradition is to kiss someone underneath the mistletoe. So Fabi, we're waiting for the gossip. Have you done it? Um, Hi, Daniela. How are you doing? Lovely to see you as usual. And how have you been since Monday? Have you done anything interesting? And Gabriela had a cycle with your, with your grandma. Amazing. Is your grandma really kind of fit and active? That's, that's lovely. Okay. So, Vizquio, yes. Yes, we just had that. Okay. Um, I think we might have... Okay. Right, this is, um, think about a country that's very, very far away and think about a kind of uh, sports where you launch something in, uh, like, you know, you launch something away from you and then if you do it really well, it will come to you, that thing. And it could be like a pastime activity and it could be a sports my connection where's that where's daniela i think just said it so you've played tennis outdoors amazing really good are you a good player do you play like have you been playing tennis for a long time well fabio is killing it today but also emanuele so emanuele said boomerang that's what it is 
I couldn't have said return throw Australia air or back. Uh, and so Fabio is saying uh, boomerang as well and Vincenzo. And yeah, uh, Frisbee is similar, but the Frisbee is obviously like, you know, the round was this one. It's like a different, uh, different shape. But yeah, boomerang was the word. Okay, so um, anyway, so just keep writing what you've been up to, what um, if you've been doing anything interesting. Okay, so this is something that everyone looks for and they all hope to find it in their life. Uh, some of us are more lucky, others are less lucky. And it's something that people always tell you money can't buy you. I mean, you know, like they tell you money can't buy you happiness and they also tell you that they can't buy you this thing that we all love. Um, I can read all of your comments, Paolo, first coming from you. So I can see I've, I can see this comment, but I couldn't see the one, like if you've written before, I couldn't see that. Um, so what's this thing that everyone wants, everyone craves, some people find it, some people don't. Daniela is a woman of experience <laughs> and she's saying love. And that's exactly what it is, it's love. I'm just going to do that for the light. So hate, heart, marriage, kiss, like. Couldn't say any of these things. Yeah. So they say, yeah, money can't buy you happiness and it can't buy you love. But my uh, philosophy is it can definitely help. <laughs> so, yeah. And Vincenzo is saying love as well. Okay. So next one. No, that's too easy. We won't do that. I think we might have had one of some of these. Okay. Um... Okay, let's see if you know this one, okay? Um, when you want to um, get an animal, like say, for example, from the lake, yeah? <laughs> that kind of animal. You have to give them some food. And like, because you use this food to lure them, to get them to come, this has like a specific name. Uh, this uh, when you it's also like used as a verb so you can say something like you use something to lure someone uh, to come to you or to do something like in order for you to capture them what is it called yes paulo bait oh i'm an emmanuel it's very quick it is bait good so so i'll just do that for the light okay you can't see it but it's bait i couldn't have said worms fishing hook catch or tempt and Gabriella is saying bait as well excellent what's bait in Italian by the way can you help the teacher out who doesn't know what bait is in Italian okay um all right this is a good one because this basically think about a bomb going off okay and uh, think about the noise it makes but also kind of like what a bomb does when it goes off um, and also like we use this word to say when we have a really great time we say we had a mm, mm, mm. Um, esca esca is bait thank you fabio <laughs> see i i learn i learn from you guys too <laughs> okay thank you Vincenzo and gabriella too okay so um this is like a synonym for what happens when, oh, I shouldn't, okay, I, I've made a mistake already, when a bomb kind of does what it's supposed to do, and uh, it could have like, there's lots of noise, and we use this word, which is a noun, yeah, so think about a synonym, Ilaria, hi, how are you doing? Think about a synonym for uh, explosion, and it's also, like I was saying, we use this word to say we had a great time and there's this expression where you use this synonym that also means explosion to say you had a great time not sure if you've come across that before um but yeah so can we come up with hi antonina how are you doing have you been out and about since um okay uh, so not blow but you've got the first two letters right so you're kind of on the right track, but it's not blow. Um, it's like, you know, you might read, I don't know, like a newspaper article, like a headline saying there was a, a mm -mm -mm was heard uh, on the streets yesterday, or uh, they were like, you know, 
there were like um, loud like explosions or the, there was like a loud, mm, 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 I shouldn't have said loud. Good. Thank God Daniela had already, <laughs> had already saved me because I said, I said loud, which I shouldn't have said. And Antonino blast. Yeah. The party was a blast. Good. We had a blast. So blast is like, you know, it's an explosion. Can you see that? Okay. I shouldn't have said off right at the beginning and I shouldn't have said loud. So the teacher, two minus points, but basically it is um, a blast and you can have a blast, which basically means you had a fantastic time. So, okay. Uh, now, um, I don't know if we've had this, like some of these we might've had before, like this one, I definitely recognize we've had this. And I think this one we've had before. So did I just get my cards mixed up? Right. Mm, too easy. Okay. Now think about something that occurs naturally where um, everything just goes very, very, very wobbly. Okay. And it can be very dangerous. Lots of people can die when that thing happens and everything goes wobbly and things fall over. And there was a big one, um, you know, here in Italy a few years ago. Um, and, you know, it's like, it's, it's a natural occurrence that can happen in many different countries around the world. And it's something to do with the tectonic plates. <laughs> what is it? So easy. In the meantime, I'll check the next. Okay, I like this one. Okay, so earthquake, good, Emanuele. Emanuele is really rocking it today. Very good. Okay, so it's an earthquake. There it is. So I wanted to say Aquila, but then I didn't. So disaster. I don't know. They put San Francisco. Obviously, it's like an English card. <laughs> Richter scale, shake, fault. Okay, earthquake from uh, Stefania. Hi, Stefania. How are you today? And from Michela, just, you know, the spelling kind of like got in the way, but you've guessed the word. And Roberta, and Fabio, and Daniela, <laughs> and Gabriela. <laughs> so everyone's kind of basically got it. Excellent. Now, this is a good one. Um, should be fairly easy. Think about Hollywood, think about movies, and think about uh, the person that basically, um, you know, is behind every great movie. And they also get an Oscar, etc. So think about like Martin Scorsese and uh, Quentin Tarantino and these kind of people. What is their job title? <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> okay, so this is one. What is this? Okay, so I've just, <laughs> I've just gone all out of focus. And now I'm back in focus and I'm going to look at the next ones. All right. That should be quite straightforward. So let's see. Di yeah, Fabio and Michaela as well. It's director. So I've just put Michaela's up because it was, the lighting is terrible. You can't see them. Okay. Trust me when I make a mistake, I'll just say it director. So couldn't have said film, actor, camera, manage or business. So, hi, Mary. How are you? <laughs> so it's Maria Grazia. It's my former work colleague. Lovely to see you. So, it's the director. Okay. And now this one is a... Um, think about shopping online and the basket where like when you choose some products it goes in there what's the name like there are many different names but there's one specific name that's used for your online shopping basket and it's also like something that you can kind of get at the supermarket too and it's also something traditionally that an animal would kind of like be um uh, kind of uh, like transporting with their energy. What is it? <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> so think about online shopping and your shopping basket. What's the synonym for that? And also, like I said, traditionally, it's something uh, that an animal would kind of help you move. And it's also, there's a saying in English, sorry, 
there's a saying in English that says you can't put the animal or you can't put the the thing before the animal, which I can't say now. Okay, not so. Okay, Vincenzo, <laughs> cart. That's the word. So it's like shopping cart. Okay. Uh, someone said trolley. So trolley is the word I would use when I go to the supermarket. I would definitely get a trolley. An American might probably say cart. Okay. Um, and like, you know, online, it's usually the shopping cart, but it could also be trolley. And there's the saying, you know, in English where you say, you can't put the car, you can't put the cart before the horse. So when you like, you're not getting your your priorities in the right order. Okay, good. So we've got Mary is also saying cart and yeah, uh, shopping cart, Antonino. Yeah, it's just, just cart we were looking for and Gabriella as well. Okay, next one. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Think about, I'm just going to give you one, one hint. This should be easy. Think about the movie, The Scarlet Letter. The letter was the first letter of the alphabet. And what does it stand for? That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> okay. Is it like it's called like that? The movie, the Scarlet Letter. I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. So I do have a memory. Something that I think I read the book when I was um, when I was a child. Yes. Okay. So what does the letter stand for? What does it stand for? Not Ted. <laughs> Not Ted. It was like a kind of. Um, punishment i think that women had to wear this um because of like the sin that they committed i'm just i'm just going to yeah no one <laughs> i was just checking my information the first thing that popped in my starts with an a and it's something that in some countries still, if you do it, you could probably be like executed. Luckily, not in Europe. <laughs> so luckily for some people, not in Europe, you couldn't be executed for that. And think about like, you know, when you are, are um, in a serious, very committed relationship and then you do this thing. Hi, Angela. How are you doing? Good to see you. So what is it we're looking for? Do I need to give you more hints, ladies and gentlemen? Think about going with someone when you are committed to someone else. What is that word? Yeah, my f I don't know what's happening. I, I did plug in, uh, Antonino is saying my video is freezing and lagging. I did plug in my data cable. And I thought things had improved, but I can see myself. I can see that it kind of like keeps rolling on empty. And um, I don't know what's going on. It may be the internet world is. Okay, you want more hints. All right. So think about a wife uh, going to bed with another man who's not her her. what is this described of and like i said previously it was a crime probably to do it it's one of the sins i think it's one of is it one of the seven sins i can't remember but anyway uh, it was a crime in many countries around the world unfortunately it's still a crime and you can lose a lot if not your life for committing it what is it not appointment not appointment um fabio it starts with that letter but it's not appointment it's the formal term you also have it in Italian, very similar, same root. I'll just give it a second. You may not have heard yet. <laughs> uh, 
yes, Roberta, because I, re I read first. Oh, just disappearing again. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> I, I don't know horns adultery just adultery adultery is fine okay yes yeah, so it's adultery and uh there's this film the scarlet letter which like the letter is the letter a um which stands for adultery i don't know what was the first thing that popped into my mind i think i was 14 or something when i read the book and kind of like you see how some things stick there is um is there like a really good film as well stefania with richard Gere and a stunning woman i can't remember what her name is um and that film i think was called unfaithful if i'm not wrong and that's a really good film i like this one and there was one scene in this film that was totally shocking i was so shocked by it but i think it was called unfaithful with richard gear and that's if you want a really good film to watch well it's like family drama but it's good la lettera rossa the scarlet letter yeah that's exactly um the film okay good now um, this one is when you go to buy things and the, um, what you pay is not very high and you get a really good product. Then we say you've made a, mm, okay. Or if something was really cheap then we say oh it's a mm, it's a noun okay so it's not an adjective um or some people like when they try when they're like negotiating and they try to get like a good result then they're trying to get a <laughs> this noun bargain emanuele where did you join us from you're amazing okay so it's a bargain so we can say something is a bargain when it's really cheap. Uh, you can say like, you know, uh, when like in the shops when they discount things, like, you know, they might sell you something as a bargain to say that, you know, you're getting a really uh, good price on this. Okay, we have Daniela and Pier Francesco. How are you doing? First comment I see from you today. And the lovely Mary. No, it was a bargain, so it was good. And uh, yeah, Richard Yeah, Ant Antonino, I just saw your comment about that film with Richard Gere. And I'm not going to read it out because that scene was so shocking. Honestly, I hadn't expected it. I'm not going to like show it to everyone to not spoil it. But that's exactly the scene. Like until today, I'm traumatized by it because I didn't expect it at all. And it was horrendous. It was really bad. <laughs> okay, now. Um, okay, this is this is funny. Okay, so think about your kitchen or any any other room in your house and you have a very small animal that comes in and usually it wants to eat something in your fridge that's not um, salami or ham okay it's something made from uh, dairy and you get something to capture this little cute animal <laughs> what is it what is it what is the animal and then what's the name of the thing that you put in around your house or anywhere else to capture this little cute animal? <laughs> okay, so Antonina shares, we have shared trauma. Antonina, we have shared trauma from that film. It really is. Fare un affare, yeah, a bargain is an un affare, okay? To make a bargain, uh, it would be, would be that, yes. Okay, good, so Daniela, mouse. And what do you get to capture the little mouse? What is it called? It's all one word. And the first part of that word is mouse. Mouse trap, that's the word. You know, it's all one word and it's mouse trap. Can't see the words, but I couldn't say kill, couldn't say rodent, rat, catch, or cheese. Okay, <laughs> but that's the word. All right, I think class one, guys, and time is up already. All right, think about um, 
think about like something like and it's maybe like buried somewhere in the sand and they're like bad men on a boat who try and kind of like go and like they want to find it and they have a map and um, they, you know, kind of hope to find this thing that will make them very, very rich. And like I said, I did, did I say, I said, I said a verb that I shouldn't have said, but it's basically like, you know, very rich. And like I said, you'll find like lots of jewelry and money and stuff like that. Okay, good. Antonino, it's treasure. Okay, just treasure. Treasure also from Daniela and treasure from Maria Grazia. Okay, treasure. That's the one. I shouldn't have said um, buried. I think I said buried in the sand somewhere. Can't see that. This is like a really bad camera. And I shouldn't have said that. So minus point for the teacher. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all for today. I'm disappointed Tiziano hasn't joined us. Who hasn't joined us today? Bonnie wasn't there. Who else joins us usually and wasn't here today? Susanna, um, various other people. So I hope you guys are well. And I'll see you again next week. Is everyone um, like going out this weekend? Are you doing anything like walks, tennis, outdoor tennis, uh, runs in the park? What are you up to? Uh, I think I'm going to follow uh, the advice, uh, not the advice, but kind of like someone confirmed that I can go and have a picnic. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'll go and have a picnic with my girls. And <laughs> Mary says she can forgive me. <laughs> for making a mistake, for saying buried. And yeah, so what's everyone getting up to this weekend? Are you doing anything? And is there like, do we know what's gonna happen? Like, is there like any time soon we can travel between regions? Does anyone know that? I should catch up on news. The problem is I don't, I don't really read mainstream news anymore, which is terrible. So I get my news from alternative sources um and um so i'm not really up to date on what's going on mirella uh thank you too thank you mary uh for being with us it's always lovely to see you daniela thank you i i shall update you um i'm really bad at like taking selfies and pictures so when i i'm with my daughters i never think about like taking pictures but maybe i should get into the habit and then i can post a picture and show you if i'm um if i'm kind of like you know um doing the picnic uh paddle i think there's a good paddle center near near where i live so paddle is good that's quite uh, quite good fun barbecue tomorrow very good i like the sound of that you know i've just when was it a, a month ago exactly i've uh, i don't know if i said but i've given up sugars including pasta so anything kind of that gets converted into high sugar uh, like my whole body uh, like anything that spikes your insulin i've given it up and I've started eating meat, which before, like, I would eat very, very, very little meat. And now I eat a lot of meat. So now when I hear the word barbecue, I'm like, this is my fat heaven. I want to have a barbecue. So uh, enjoy your barbecue. And uh, <laughs> Fabio, Fabio wants to kiss someone. You have to wait about six months, I think, Fabio. Uh, but um, find another excuse to kiss someone. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mary. Well, you know, like they, they uh, kept talking about you for a long time. I'm sure even now, if I tell them um, you're... Um, a letter on my shelf... <laughs> no, Antonino, the clue is in my name. It's not. <laughs> I wouldn't brandish myself like that. <laughs> All right, then, everyone, I'll let you go. Have a good weekend, too, Daniela. Enjoy your, enjoy your weekends. And um, thank you, Gabriela, you too. And, yes, there will, be, there will be new videos. I'll also tell you, so one of the reasons why I didn't make videos this weekend, this week, I don't like excuses, so no excuses. It really was because I decided uh, to give, finally give priority to something that I've been thinking about for a year. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it now, like just start thinking about 
maybe like I might be able to realize it, maybe not. It's just like an idea. And I kind of just thought, okay, start looking into if you can actually realize this idea. So that was the first thing. And the second thing is um, like lots of people want beginners uh, level Ital uh, English. And I've kind of been mulling, should I do like an A1 level course? And I thought, okay, maybe I'll do an A1 level course. But then of course, all of you aren't like that level, you know, you like whatever, like B2, maybe some people perhaps even C1. And so like finding that balance between doing some content for beginners and, and like finding um, kind of then also some time to continue doing content like the way I've been doing it so far, which is the content that I actually like doing, like kind of the more, I don't know, intermediate and advanced stuff. I like that more. So that's kind of like been a, a block in my head uh, this week. So I shall overcome it. And we shall be back with new videos next week. All right. So, uh, so Roberta is saying uh, you will start. So you will start again helping your children with their video lessons on Monday. So, how old are your children, uh, Roberta? I have one girl who is school age, Laura. She's seven, nearly eight. So she's going on to eight. And um, my my youngest daughter, she's six, but she's starting school in September. So she doesn't have to do homework. And one like one of the um, challenges is with like this homeschooling is you may need your computer for working and then your child needs the computer as well for studying because like not all platforms work well on I don't know, like the iPad, like tablet and telephone, telephones, which is which is a shame. So I find like competing for the only computer we have in the house is a bit difficult. OK, eight and 12. Lovely. Are they boy like a boy and a girl, two girls, two boys? Um, thank you guys, too. And yeah, they so like I, I really don't like kind of like disappearing from from a page. That's really bad. And I don't know why I didn't just like post to say, guys. I'll be back soon when I've got more clarity in my head. So that's kind of like what I what I ought to be doing and what I usually do. Um, <laughs> no worries, Antonina, no problem. Also, like sometimes the phones just kind of like correct us or miscorrect us. All right, okay, so I'm just going to sign off. Everyone was just waiting to see. Okay, so uh, Roberta, boy, eight, and girl, 12. Okay, so um, going on to, well, not now maybe, but like heading towards teenagers well pre-adolescent i'd say so um i hope she's a well-behaved like pre-teenage girl uh, i do dread when i think like you know my lara in five years time is going to be that age so i prefer them when they're little and you have a lot more control over things but anyway um i hope uh you'll have a good time uh, with them and homeschooling them and i'll see you guys next week take care everyone and enjoy the sunshine. Bye. Bye, everyone. Lovely to see you.